Okay, and just when you thought we were done with concept two, we are not. We still have to divide. So still concept number two, we are now dividing radicals. So number one, divide coefficients, then use the quotient rule. If I have the same index on top that I do on bottom, I can, that's supposed to be an N, just take whatever root that is of that fraction, A over B. Okay, I've done that before. You've probably seen me do it, and that's what we're going to do here. And then simplify the resulting radical. So here we go. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 160 divided by 5 is 32. And now we simplify. So I divided these, and then I divided those to get this. Now I simplify 2 times 16. Oh, I know the square root of 16 is 4. So 4 times 6 is 24 square root of 2. Pretty easy, huh? All right, let's try this one. So square root, oh, I'm just going to take the whole fraction. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. We're just going to divide. So it's the square root x cubed divided by x squared is x. Okay, y to the ninth divided by y to the fifth is y to the fourth. And I can simplify this. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And I can't take the square root of x, so I'm done. Okay. 48 divided by 16 is 3, and that's as far as I can get on that one. <laughs> that one is pretty simple. All right. Let's keep going. Okay. I cannot divide 7 into 64. Okay. That's how it's going to end up being like that anyway. Okay, it's going to be the cubed root of 7 over 64, x to the fifth, y to the second. But I can simplify the top. So 5 rounded down to the nearest um, factor of 3 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So I am going to have a fraction here with 7, cube root of 7, and the cube root of 64. Oh, which I can totally take the cube root of 64. I just realized that. Yeah. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then what's the cube root of 64? It's 4. So really, our answer is x squared cube root of 7 divided by 4y squared. Oh, and there's a still x squared left over in the radical. Gosh, I'm just having a day today. Oh, okay. So that's it for dividing. You're going to do 2, 4, 6, and 8, and then we'll move on to rationalizing the denominator.